Surfshark updates are back and we have tons to talk about. From the latest feature that lets you block unwanted content on your entire device to innovations that have never been seen before in the VPN industry. This and more coming right up on today's Surfshark News episode. But before that, Black Friday is upon us and that means that right now is the best time to get Surfshark and or extend your current subscription. Click the first link in the description and or use the code SHARKTUBE to get our best deal available. And remember, Surfshark is no longer just a VPN as tiers like Surfshark 1 and Surfshark 1 Plus include tools like antivirus, alert, search, and incogni to help you protect your privacy online. All right, let's talk about new exciting features first. Surfshark 1 and 1 Plus users can now access a brand new feature called Web Content Blocker. Now, the internet is a wonderful invention, but that of course doesn't mean that it's perfectly safe at all times. In fact, many websites today can be classified as dangerous or inappropriate, which is why you may want to block them. And that's exactly what Surfshark's web content blocker is designed to do. Available now on mobile devices on both iOS and Android on the Surfshark app, in the settings, you'll see a new option called web content blocker. Here, you can name your device and select which categories of websites you want to block, ranging from adult websites to gambling ones, sites that may be linked to financial fraud, and so on. You can also lock these settings with two-factor authentication and prevent them from being disabled if you're doing this on your child's device, for instance. And on that note, if you want to set up web content blocker on your other devices and manage them easily, make sure to first install Surfshark on that device and enable web content blocker. After that, select the categories you want to block, lock it with 2FA, and now you'll be able to manage that device from this, your devices option within the Surfshark web app. Overall, this feature is easy to set up and use and can be a really powerful tool to protect your loved ones or even yourself and maybe even increase your productivity by blocking distracting websites. But speaking of productivity, Surfshark's engineering team has certainly been really productive this year, working on all kinds of innovations in the VPN space. Recently, I had the chance to visit one of Surfshark's server rooms where the very first 100 gigabit VPN server was launched. Yeah, this was a big deal because most VPNs today use either one or 10 gigabit servers and they work fine today. But as time goes on and internet usage all around the world keeps increasing, it's good to be ready for the future. Surfshark is doing exactly that by launching the very first 100 gigabit VPN server in the Netherlands, which you can try out right now by, well, connecting to the Netherlands on your Surfshark app. Now, again, don't expect your VPN speed to increase by a billion times just because you use the server, though do expect it to be extremely stable and with time, we'll look into increasing other servers to this new standard of 100 gigabits. Building on the topic of servers though, Surfshark has also been massively expanding its server network. Previously, Surfshark had around 3,200 servers worldwide, but steadily we have been building up and expanding, and now that server count grows all the way up to 4,500. This update doesn't add any new VPN countries and instead aims to improve the overall stability and VPN server route optimization. Because as a reminder, Surfshark servers utilize the Surfshark Nexus technology, which connects all of the Surfshark servers together for a smoother connection. Expansion mainly focused on adding servers in regions like US, UK, and Japan. However, this all ties up to another feature added by Surfshark called Fast Track. It's essentially a real-time VPN route optimization for enhanced internet performance. Fast Track enables Surfshark to find the most efficient path for your connection and as a result give you the most stable and also the fastest connection possible. In fact, using Fast Track powered locations, you can expect a speed increase of up to 70%. That is quite a lot. It's currently available on macOS devices using the Surfshark app and connecting to one of three Fast Track enabled locations, either Sydney, Australia, US Seattle, or Vancouver, Canada. You can easily identify them via this Fast Track icon. Overall, all, both the server capacity upgrade and the fast track feature and the Everlink technology released way back in summer are all designed to make your Surfshark VPN experience better. Let's now move on to talking about phishing. 
No, not that kind of phishing. Rather, the type of cyber attack where bad actors tend to impersonate legitimate organizations or try to trick people into giving them sensitive information like passwords, credit card details, or any other info that you may not want anyone else to have. Or in other words, trying to scam them. Now, this can be done via text messaging or fake websites, but it's also extremely common to get phishing emails. And well, Surfshark's new email scam tricker feature available via the browser extension is here to help you detect phishing emails. So on the extension, head to settings, then select email scam checker. And as the description says, the feature will use AI to detect phishing patterns in emails or suspicious URLs. And it even verifies the sender's reputation since like I've said, bad actors do tend to impersonate companies or people in general. Now, once enabled at the top of every email, you'll see this Surfshark banner here. And by clicking on check email, the feature will let you know if the email in question is safe or potentially dangerous. And you can also click on this arrow to get even more details about it. Keep in mind that the feature currently only works with Google Gmail. Surfshark's email scam checker is available for all Surfshark 1 and OnePlus users via the Chrome browser extension. Go try it out right now and let us know what you think. Also, side note, Surfshark doesn't train AI with any scan data. Next up, let's talk about user experience, which here at Surfshark, we do think about a lot. And if you're on Android specifically, you might have already seen the new redesigned Surfshark mobile home screen. The aim was to make every Surfshark product easier to access and give you more information about each one at a glance. So at the top, there's Surfshark VPN, followed by antivirus, then alert, alternative ID, and finally search if you have a Surfshark One or OnePlus subscription. Now, if you want to access a specific tool, you can simply tap on the respective tile. For instance, by tapping on the VPN tile, I'll get more details like IP address information, what features I have enabled for my VPN tool, and the ability to favorite VPN locations. Going back, I can also now find each product via the product tab at the bottom and get a more simplified selection screen for each one. The old mobile home screen was definitely more VPN focus, but as Surfshark is no longer just a VPN, by having all Surfshark tools integrated into one home screen, it makes it easier to access each tool separately. By the way, Surfshark is still collecting feedback regarding this home screen, so do let us know what you think of it. And in the settings, you can bring back the old screen if you do prefer it. Finally, let's end off the episode by talking about a neat update for the Surfshark browser extension, and that's the addition of dedicated IP. Previously, it was only available on desktop and mobile apps, but we know that many of you do like using the Surfshark browser extension, and so if you have dedicated IP, you can now connect to it on your browser as well. Also, side note, dedicated IP is also coming to the Surfshark Linux app, so stay tuned for news regarding that in a future episode. But with that out of the way, this Surfshark update video comes to an end. As always, I'll leave the previous episode right here in case you missed it. And with that, take care and have a good one.